Hello everyone, CryoDog here, bringing to you today another iPhone 6 how-to. Uh, this one is regarding email. So, if you're like me, you probably have several different email accounts set up in various different places. And uh, I'm going to show you how to bring uh, some of those in to your mail app on your iPhone. So currently I have in uh, the Google mail app installed which I'm currently don't like the latest update because of the uh, lower the smaller font size on, in the inbox list so I don't really care for that so I'm going to import uh, that email account into my mail app so what I need to do first is let me just take you into the mail app and then I'll show you what I've got there now so right now I've currently got my iCloud um, email set up in here so I don't have any mail in there as of now I'm not really using this email account very much at the present time so uh, what we want to do is go back to the home screen go into settings mail contacts and calendars then we want to choose add account right there below iCloud. So I'm going to choose Google. Now you can also choose Exchange, Yahoo, AOL, or Outlook.com. So let's go with Google. We're going to enter our information. So let me do that. In the name field, you'll enter your name. In the email field, you'll enter your email address for your Google Gmail account. In the password field, you'll enter the password for your Gmail account. And in the description field, uh, if it's only one account, it'll just show Gmail. But if you have multiple accounts, the first one will show Gmail, and the second and following will show the name of the email address. So now once you have entered your information, you get to choose which items you want to appear in the mail app. So I'm just going to choose mail because I don't use the notes, the calendar, or the contact information from Google Mail currently so I just keep it with just the email from that account it's going to choose save now you can see that the Gmail account has been added so let's go back to the mail app you can see there's already a number there so this means it's already imported my emails from the Google Mail account. So let's go in there. You can see Gmail is now listed. And we can check these inboxes separately from one another if we wanted to go into the iCloud inbox. We can choose that separate <coughs> versus the Gmail. Or we can go into all inboxes and see everything in one one screen. So it looks like I have three emails in my Gmail account. So let's go look at those real quick. Okay, looks like everything is in there. So you can add uh, multiple accounts in here. Uh, I don't know what the limit is, but uh, you can add probably quite a few. Uh, I had three or four added earlier, and I took them off just for the purposes of this video. So that is it. That's how you bring your other email accounts into the mail app on your iPhone. Uh, so you can get rid of the Gmail like I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that app and just bring everything into the mail app on the iPhone 6. Um, also, since Google or Gmail features the tab system where you have the primary, the social tab, and the promotions tab, uh, in the mail app, it pulls all the the emails from those different tabs into one screen on the mail app, so you don't have to switch back and forth between the tabs like you do in Gmail. Um, you can see them all in one location um, with the mail app on the iPhone 6. Now, uh, I'm sure this is not new information for previous iPhone versions. It is new information to me because I'm not. I wasn't previously an iPhone 6 or iPhone 
user. So uh, hopefully this will help someone that's just starting out with the iPhone uh, to bring all their email into one location um, and, and be able to use all the features that the iPhone uh, offers and the iOS 8 offers. For, uh, like for example the dynamic text. I know that doesn't work in the Gmail app but with the iPhone 6 and iOS 8 mail app that dynamic text does work and uh, everything's much bigger and takes advantage of the iPhone 6 uh, larger display. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave those below and have an awesome day. Thank mm -hmm. you.